Capturing emissions is critical to restoring balance to our atmosphere. But where does the CO2 go after it's captured? The answer is geologic sequestration, a safe and permanent way to store captured carbon deep underground. It begins by condensing CO2 from gas into liquid, removing any water or corrosive elements, so only CO2 gets injected. The injection well is engineered with multiple layers of steel and cement casing to ensure absolutely no leaks on the way down. It reaches deep underground to a safe depth, where the CO2 is deposited into a storage reservoir. The reservoir is not some big underground cavern. It's actually a solid rock with billions of pore spaces, each one smaller than a single strand of human hair. The injected CO2 can be trapped in the porous rock by three different methods. Residual trapping, where the liquid CO2 settles between the pore spaces. Solution trapping, where it dissolves into other fluids already trapped in the reservoir. And mineral trapping, where CO2 molecules interact with existing minerals and bind to the rock. But how does the CO2 stay underground? A non-porous, impermeable cap rock makes it impossible for CO2 to seep upwards. This cap rock extends for hundreds of meters, permanently sequestering the CO2 below. Back at the surface, our monitoring systems, fail-safe redundancy, and 24-hour surveillance ensure a safe operation for the environment and the community. Conservative estimates show that the U.S. has 8.3 trillion metric tons of storage capacity. That's enough to store the annual emissions of 35 billion vehicles for the next 50 years. And that's how we can leverage geologic sequestration to help restore the balance.